Blue Hair, and I'll back for more Minecraft. Project Ozone 3. I don't even know what part this is because I'm still rendering videos from the last few times I've been working on it. I was looking up Landia because I was looking at the RF Tools Crafter 2, level 2, level two to convert our essence, Inferium essence, into the higher tiers so it can be stored easier. And because, yeah. Anyway, so what did I say we were going to do today? I believe, if I'm not mistaken, was a Kappa. Ah, we're going to work on the kit, secondary output upgrade, and the jet packs, which we, I think we can only get up to Endarium. We can't get the flux infused because that's part of armor, but we can do armor upgrades actually, and that's something we should be focusing on doing. So, in order to get the next one, we need to work on extra utility. No, 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 not extra utilities. Um, my mind is now drawing a blank. Sorry guys, my mind is like we need an empower. Um Atomic Reconstructor, that's what it was. I had it in my mind and as soon as I wanted to say it There it goes. Alright, so that's just really, really easy. So I got a terminal up here in this in the station way, which I'm gonna make some cool stuff for here eventually. Because, anyway, I don't know why that, uh -uh. alright, so now we have an iron case, why are you doing that, that's weird, or atomic reconstructor, and I need a lever, so, um, uh, Atomic Reconstructor, like most actually editions machines, run on a redstone signal. If you apply a redstone signal to it, it'll set it off. It's pretty handy. Yeah, I realized there's my other shovel. <laughs> Finally found it. A quest complete. Atomic Reconstructor. Alright, so... I guess I could put it down here. Doesn't really matter. Turn it off. Because right now it's filling up with energy. No, lens, I think. I don't remember what the lenses do for that. Crystals. I don't think the lenses. I don't think there is a lens that works for that. But crystallized and then empowered canola seed will yield you way more. It'll give you like a really good canola that you could use for power. But we're not going to worry about that. What we need. I'm a little out of it today. It's been a long weekend. Is void crystals. And while we're at it, we're probably going to go all the way up through Inori, which is iron. Um, Polis, which is lapis, redstonia, which is redstone, uh, boron, steel, obsidian, diamond. Di we can get diamantine even, and emerald, emeratic. Yeah, we could pretty much do this whole tree in this episode if I really want. So, which I, I think I want to. I really would like to get further down this tree. So, void crystals, I think, are. I want to say, yep, yeah, coal. I thought it was coal, but I'm like, I don't remember specifically if it was coal. All right, so I'm going to take these 56 blocks of coal. And let's go ahead and get diamond. Or diamond. Diamond. <laughs> Oh, goodness. 
All right, Lapis. And... Also, I do have... Ex I don't know if I showed you guys or not that I have uh, redstone. Not redstone. The fluid's hooked up. And this is the fluid drawer. It's only got one type right now, and that's um, buckets of liquid essence. But if we look here, we have 110 buckets in here. And it only takes up 45 bytes, so... Yeah. You can get quite a bit. So let's head on down here. I'm just going to drop all these items right here. Flip the lever. Yep, it can only do so much at a time. That's why I let it keep going. So we have all four of our diamond. Oh, oh, we need the emerald, don't we? All right, well, I got most of them. So let's get emeralds. Oh yeah, I got emeralds. Plus I got all those seeds. Oh, ooh, ooh, I do have one thing. I have, since the last time I recorded, Upgraded two seeds all the way till ten to ten ten ten. Well three if you want to count wheat. Uh emerald and I believe redstone are the two that I have done. So excited. So one of the final achievements is get every seed ten ten ten. So I'm slowly working on that in between episodes. Plus it also helps yield more crops, so why not? Uh anyway. Need aluminum. I need to take off this armor and repair it. Anvil. Oh. That's three. So I need some levels here, which is fine. I believe I got plenty of levels down here. I need to get... XP. Ah, there's the tap. Okay, that should be plenty. That's why I leave it up until it's completely full, and then I take it out until it's like a few buckets left, and then I leave, let that go. Just in case of a situation like this. Oh, there goes the anvil. Let's make another one real quick before I uh, don't get the opportunity to do so. For all, because I'll forget. And trust me, I've got plenty of iron. Oh, I found my other red backpack. I've been looking for it, and I thought, oh my gosh, I I got rid of it, so I remade a couple things, and I'm like, wait, it's in the system. Wait, I looked in the system before, or did I? Oh, anyway, so now use missing boy. Oh, yeah, because I, I have the missed blocks, don't I? Okay, there we go. <laughs> All right, and now we'll have Boyd crystal armor. See, I'm really preparing right now, because if we're going to go into the Twilight and start getting some of the Twilight quests done, I'm going to need this. So now, Void Crystal Armor. And that is Constantin. All right. Con... We got 19 blocks of Constantin. Nice. That's where we had a cow, didn't we? I don't need this much. Alright, so let's go back over here. 
Yeah, I just now checked to see if I was actually recording, so I could have been sitting here talking to myself like I've done a few times before, and it's like, oh, there's nobody there. Oh my. Oh no. <laughs> Alright, now we have Constantin boots. Constantin armor. So what is the next tier? It is g -g gold. Which is about as useful as wood. I don't need aluminum anymore. I don't need the void crystals. Alright, so gold. I'm getting quite quite good with all these seeds and seeds and stuff. I've only got a few left that we have to make to uh get further. And there's gold. And complete gold armor. All right, so what is next? Apparently a whole bunch of random stuff. Uh, armor match. Chain mail. Is that right? Yeah, chain armor. Okay, cool. All right, so... Oh, okay. It's, you you make that in the workbench armor workbench. Okay, it's been a long time since I made this, so it's like, huh, Ryan. Remember, we're not using iron; we're using Ryan. The other reason I'm keeping these uh, crystals in is because I know I'm going to be using them at some point in this episode. So it's like, eh, I'll just kind of keep them there. I don't think I'll need more than 24, but might be wrong. Oh, uh, froze there for a second. Like, uh oh, 24 is exactly what I needed. Awesome. Mom chain armor. All right. So what is next? Nickel. All right. All right. So we got nickel leggings. Chest plate. Boots. And helmet. Yeah, quest complete for nickel armor. All right, so lead. I don't know how much lead I have. Okay, I have lead. Because I remember I had to go out there and I got a bunch of essence for lead before because I was working on something and I needed lead. That's a much lighter color. And we got lead armor. And use osmium. That's plenty. We're just burning through this. I guarantee maybe by the end of the episode, we will have all the armors for this particular one. And we can move on to the next tier armors. All right. What is next? Iron. <laughs> Oh, iron armor. Wow. That's pretty sad. Osmium turns into just plain old iron armor. 
but I want the best kind of armor that I can get right now. And then uh, we'll use a, get a jetpack. We'll get the jetpacks going. And then um, probably after that, go start fighting some, like the Naga and stuff. And just trust me, you want an Endarium jetpack and maybe like a couple spare batteries. Because it uses energy quite quickly. So, Inori... Oh, I forgot the Inori crystals. That's a quick fix. I kept thinking there was another one I was forgetting, but I'm like, mm, I'll figure it out. And there's Inori. Best completed reconstructed material. All right, that was kind of a bonus. There's not that many quests for actually additions, which is kind of sad, really, because I like the mod. It's really interesting. I like the power of using canola oil for power. I mean, we use canola oil in our everyday cooking, let alone, you know. The black quartz is next. Now, if I don't have enough, I have plenty. Okay. Say, so if I don't have enough, I can go out and get the essence really quick. Because I got the seeds already for them. The first ones I ever had, I made into the seeds. Just for the purpose, because it was a pain in the butt to even find them. That was my Twitter. <laughs> Black quartz arm. And next is thorium. I know I got a good amount of thorium. Not a lot. Nah, I need to get more thorium, like for sure. I think you can only you can only get from the ore. Yeah, yeah, I'll have to get it from the ingot, which kind of sucks, but it's actually quite plentiful if you just go mining, so. I'm not like super worried. I don't think thorium's used in a lot. I'm not hundred percent sure. Uh uses. Oh, we have to have a thousand of them to make the Jacodite metal, which that's not a lot. I mean, I can't find that many. Eh. All right, so next is Lapis Lazuli. Oh. All right. So we got this hair. Mm hmm. Never thought there'd be so many different armors. This is crazy. But it's armor plus mod, so. Oops. I want to keep my Manelian broadsword. Uh -huh. Okay, so next is bronze. We're just burning right through this, guys. Burning right through it. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. And you guys can see all the like steps it takes to make the ultimate armor, which you'll never die. Although I think you actually can die, but there's only like two things I think in the game that can kill you. So. So tungsten and then redstone and then two of the crystals. So I need tungsten and redstone. Ooh. That's lucky. Wow. 
how do we get tungsten? That's not what I asked for. Again, that is not what I asked for. There we go. So we have to get it. We can get it from ore. Tungsten is from crushed netherrack. Oh, that's not too bad. But it's only like a nine, eighteen percent chance. That's that's again, that's not terrible. And iridium, you get gold, cobalt, or right? titanium. Okay, that's that's not terrible. I mean, anything, just go harvest the nether for a while. If I need more. Or I can use an EMC if I get the uh, uh, tablet. Trust me, those are going to be really handy and I cannot wait for those. Tungsten armor. Put that away so I don't use it all up. Ain't that pretty armor though? Oh, it's blocks. I didn't realize that. I need what, 24? Oops. Okay. Wow, I didn't realize it was blocks of redstone. Now, some of the armors we won't be able to do because we're not, we have not gone to some of the dimensions yet. So, yeah. Like, we need Yeti fur, Alpha Yeti fur for one of them. I know we need Abyssal Knight and Dreaded Abyssal Knight. Which we can just capture creatures and take their stuff. And the boot grinder is going to be like, oh my god, useful. Which we're going to be definitely using soon. Uh, I found out it actually doesn't use that much power. Not like I thought it did, anyway. Anyway. Uh, redstone, I think it was... Palace Crystal? Palace Crystal, yeah. And then Redstonia Crystal. So, Palace. And now we got redstonia, which is basically, we put, what was it, redstone and then crystallized lapis and then crystallized redstone on top of that. So, redstone, lapis, redstone. Or if you want to really think about it, you really want to think about it, guys. It went lapis, bronze, tungsten, redstone, lapis, redstone. So now, invar. Invar is one of my favorite materials. Because I, I used to, I love Mac Mac Dynamos. I mean, I'll use them in every single pack if I get a chance. Not every pack, but every every map I have, if I get a chance, I'll use Mac Mac Dynamos. I love them. And we used to have it to where it would pump lava from the, we would pump lava from the uh, nether. And it would be like a pretty much infinite power source. Now all we had to do once in a while was just kind of Move it over. Move the pump over to a new section and boom. Alright, so next is Boron, which I know we use a lot of later on. I got plenty of Boron armor or Boron ore and it's not that hard to come by. Neither is Tungsten to be brutally honest. Well, I mean, not talks the thorium. Thorium is not hard to come by. Yay. All right, so quests. Aota. Steel, obsidian, diamond. Steel, obsidian, diamond. Steel. Uh, 
Obsidian. And diamond. Okay, so deal. Ups. Oop. Crap. Okay, I don't like doing this. Please forgive me for doing this. I jumped the gun there a quick second, and I need to summon a steel chest plate. And then immediately get rid of it. I waited one second too early, or did it one second too early. I even told myself in my mind, like, don't immediately go for the next armor. You have to wait a second out of the uh, GUI. So forgive me for that. You guys saw everything. I'm not going to edit it out. It was my mistake. I don't like cheating, and that was like only like one of those instances where I said, an oops is made, and I'd have to remake chest plate all the way up to there. And ugh. it's just a waste of materials. That's complete. Diamond armor. Boom, boom, boom. Oh, I'm pressing Y. I'm like, why isn't this working? Okay, so diamond team. <laughs> And diamond teen armor. Iota. So it's emerald, then platinum, and then emeraldic. That's plenty. And I can put these in here for now. I think I can put half of them in there. That won't matter. Emeralds. Emerald. Emerald. Emerald armor. Platinum armor. Now with the emeraldic, we'll go into the twilight because um, Okay, whatever. So those two are done. We got emeraldic crystal armor. So in order to upgrade this, we would need the high tech. Trust me, we got night slamming gods. We're good. So we need to make another workbench, have infused lava crystals. So we need to make an infuser with a lava crystal. Which I don't think we can just make those. No. I've got some lava crystals, I think. I got eight. I think they're like right down next to actual lava. So. Um. Yeah, we have to have infused lava crystals in order to make a high-tech pyrobench. 
Oh. I make this. Uh, so I need five of those, which is fine. I would have enough to make the high tech bench, but that'd be about it. So we're gonna probably go in. We're gonna probably make the uh, armor or armor jetpack in the next episode, and um, go all the way up to the highest tier. Um, and then probably go from there and defeat some creatures in the, well, actually, after the jetpack, we'll probably get the, uh, Woot Grinder up. I want to get tier four if we can. And then, um, start taking some shards and start stabbing some things. So we can do that. So, um, Yeah. Because one of my first goals is to get a Woot Grinder that can get a what Nether skull, Wither Skeleton. And get the Beheading Upgrade. So we can get Wither Head Skulls. Get a few stacks of those. Uh, work on that to get a uh, Wither. Stab the Wither with it. Kill Wither. And then uh, use the Grinder for Woot, for Woot Grinder to get nether stars and then we can start getting a whole bunch more stuff uh done from there revive the dragon which is one of the quests kill the dragon you know we can get dragon eggs and stuff like that we can get a dragon egg uh grinder mill egg mill um a whole bunch of different stuff and dragon eggs are incredibly huge uh emc so jetpacks are next um then we'll work on a wood grinder or um, go for twilight creatures. See you guys next time.